hi everyone i welcome you to this uh, video in my channel um this video is to help future students and current students likewise who are in the lpn bsn program yes um with the university of arkansas arkansas um, u of a i welcome all new students and future students if you're watching it now or in the near future you are welcome and i know that we can do this as we put our minds together so this is for the lpn bsn online program uh which most states it, it can be done in most states and uh, when you go to their website too uh, it, it will tell you some uh the the uh states that they have not been accepted there yet i know tennessee is one and maryland is also one of the states where they have not been approved yet but i am in north carolina and my state has approved it even online clinicals has been approved and uh, there's a hospital and a, a health department that they have also established um they've been able to establish a partnership with so i'll be going there for my clinicals um i hope that whatever state wherever you find yourself uh the school will be able to um get a partnership over there for you to be able to do your clinicals we are in a very challenging times um with coronavirus and all the other bruhaha and wahales that comes with it and um i believe we can do it we can still do it no matter the challenge the present challenges that we have so i'm going to go I've, I've listed a couple of points here and i'm going to go into the school website with my blackboard and everything and show you a couple of things that will help you out so not the number one thing i want to talk about is that you have to buy a good laptop if you have a laptop already make sure it is very good it is high speed um your the memory the hard drive um your processor is at least 2.1 or 2.3 higher so that it's going to run fast for you you don't want a slow laptop this is an online program so you can't do it without computer obviously so you need a high and fast running computer computer for your for your school work most importantly so buy yourself a good laptop that has a high speed to at least 2.1 2.3 gigahertz speed processor and then get one desktop or um, a second laptop as your backup i'm saying as your backup because it's technology anything can go wrong with your computer that you trust most anything can go wrong so have a backup okay uh, i i i started this spring and we just completed one week 2021 spring cohort i'm part of it and we just started um <laughs> that was my daughter my baby uh girl so right into the before we started the first week before we get into the uh january 11th start date my computer the two weeks leading into the classes my computer began to freeze on me it just was freezing unnecessarily and so i couldn't even complete the online orientation i couldn't complete the or online orientation which i have to complete before i can graduate but now school has started and uh, i'm already behind because it took the day that my laptop came and setting it up and everything it was it got into the uh the january 11th and i had to read the onboarding uh, uh uh module i have to go inside the onboarding model to read a couple of things to understand certain things to order my books and stuff like that the uniform this the student badge so it, it put me behind so it's very important that you have a good laptop before the that uh semester that you are starting that cohort that you are starting get a good laptop get a backup laptop whether a desktop or a, lap, a second laptop so that you don't fall behind as i am right now 
so if one fails, you will have a backup as I've written it here. The second thing is that most courses are eight weeks long. It's eight weeks. So we have the first eight week and then we have the second eight week. So from January up to I think the last uh the last month is uh I believe May or uh April. April. Um they've split it into two. So some of the courses is eight week long and some other couple of co uh, courses are also through the entire month. You have to have it through the entire month. It starts from January and it ends in the, the last day of the semester. Uh, an example is the NURS 3111 Clinical Skills for Professional Nursing. Yes, so <laughs> that was my daughter trying to ask me whether I'm doing recording or not. Yes, um, most courses are eight weeks long and a couple uh it, go, it runs through the entire semester, which is 16 weeks, I believe. So that means that each week you have a quiz, a test, an exam, or some sort to take. Every day you must read your chapters and do activity on your discussion board so you don't fall behind. And I can't stress this enough because I, I used my first day trying to do this onboarding thing, read through it. I'm really behind. Some of the things that I'm supposed to read. Yeah, and these chapters are heavy. These chapters are very, very heavy. Let me try and bring, like, I have, uh, like, in the first eight weeks, I have two classes going um, transition, transition to professional nursing, and then I have the health assessment course. So I have the NURS. 4003 and then NURS 4232 for the health assessment. And for the transition, uh, there's this book. I hope you see it well. Eighth edition professional nursing concept and ch ch challenges. Uh -huh. So the chapters, the chapters that she gave for the first week, it's a lot of uh, pages. And I'm, I'm one person that I have to read. If I read, if I'm able to read my entire chapter, I don't miss my quizzes. I passed and passed well. Some people, they don't have the time to sit down. They always want some some sort of um, handout or whatever. Anyway, do whatever can help you pass your test. I like to read my chapters very well, so I don't miss anything on my exams. I'm not good at guessing exams uh, questions to pass. So I have to read my, so uh, one thing is that make sure you, uh, uh, inside that uh, onboarding model, module that they set up, make sure you click on their link that says the books, the books that are required, that are required for, um, let me see if it's here. I printed them out. Make sure you, you, uh, buy your books for the classes that you are going to you are going to uh take make sure you order them on time and have it on time unless you want to be reading the ebook on your computer i am not good at reading from the screen so i'm i always want to have my books i always and i have a folder created i i bought myself a, a hard drive a standard hard drive one terabyte purposely for uh, education and other things for for my life so inside that hard drive i created my folder for the university and i create folders for the courses that i am taking whereby i download things so when you do this this is organization you are organizing yourself so that your your things are not all over the place you have to really uh, get your books on time and some of the courses they don't it doesn't list the the books that is required so make sure that once the once they load your course on blackboard you go and look for the textbook you go and look for the textbook and you order it on time and i found some of the books on ebay.com very very cheap you can find some in amazon or uh, C H E G G 
dot com. Anywhere that you can get it cheap, do it. If you have the money, do it. Because if you are not good with reading online from the screen, like myself, then your best bet test uh, test book test book list online BSN. Okay, so I uploaded. I want to open it so that you will see you will see um, the test books. So make sure you order them ahead of time. Yes. So this is online BSN course resource list. So take the B uh, ISBN number, go copy and paste it in uh, eBay.com, and get the book. It's going to help you. Some some of the quiz are open book. So if it's an open book and you have your um if you have your hard copy book and then you've been reading it, you know what chapter is for what topic, you'll be able to skim through and get your answer and post your answer and and and, and, and pass that exams very easily. Yeah, so these are all the as you can see, it lists the course, the name, and then the book that is needed, the course, the name and the book that is needed i've ordered most of these uh books already i have my informatics because i'm taking it in the second week of this semester so i have it already i have the uh, foundational something something i have it also ordered i'll make sure i order for my summer books uh, the mental health i'll make sure i'll order it by february and have it ahead of time i can't stress this enough you need to order your books okay i'm trying to find you have to also okay let me go back to the okay say so do not wait till the due date do not wait till when you are working in an eight week online program for this semester the courses that i'm taking they have thursday and uh, sunday thursdays and sundays where uh uh assignments and discussion boards are due i do not wait for that thursday to come today is monday january 18th 2021 i'm going to work ahead of time make sure i post my discussion board answer to whoever has already posted you answer to at least two people two or three people and make sure you read over the course syllabus three times at least three times especially the grading rubric the grading rubric so that you will do exactly what the instructor said said in that rubric to get the full points please make sure you are reading over and over and make sure you are reading the rubric how she's going to give the points if you want the full point and make sure you go by it if she wants you to reference APS style make sure you are referencing APS APA style. Yes, you are referencing in that manner to get. And if he says that add a point that the the your peers your peer has not already added, make sure you are adding something different. Adding to that peer comment to get your full point for that discussion. And discussion, uh, the the discussion portion is a lot of points for the total grade. So if you are aiming for a grade A or B for the entire course, then you have to really read through your syllabus and make sure you follow through what uh, the grading rubric is saying. So consider your life situation before registering for classes. Are you single with kids? Are you married with kids? Do you have support system like a husband, a fiance to help you with your kids? If you have kids or whilst you study, consider all these things. These can help you while you are registering for your classes. And you can take one course in the eight the first eight week and then the next the next course in the second eight weeks. Just don't overwhelm yourself so that you don't set yourself for failing failing that course. It's very intense. I'm not here to scare you, but it is intense. Every day you have to learn. You have to stay on top of it. Read a chapter. Read a chapter. And uh, if you're able to do that, and the chapters are a lot of pages. Yes. And make sure you are doing your ATI. And then 
my, my next point, I said, join a Facebook for the cohort that you are in or create a Facebook for that cohort. If there's no group yet, get to know your peers using the blackboard. Yes, you can create it by sending a link to your, you are able to send an email to all your peers, your classmates on the, using the blackboard. Yes, and work on your ATI models each week to stay on top every day. Work on an, something inside a module, inside the ATI. This school uses ATI a lot and it's a lot of modules, a lot of things, skills. And it has a bulk of it, bulk points for your total grade. So you cannot, you cannot joke with ATI uh, modules. Please work on it. And um, for your check skills, for your check skills, when you are doing your simulation, these three, uh, these four points, make sure you are taking them, you are marking them first. Close the curtain, wash hands, check patient's ID or armband, lift the bed, the head of the bed up, raise the bed to the level where you are not bending down and hurting your back. This, when you are doing your simulation uh, in ATI, have this thing, these four things in mind so that you will pass, you will get the points that you need for your simulations. And the last point is that do not stress. Okay, so now let me take you to Blackboard. So it is learn.uark.edu. So if you look at my browser here, I'm going to open a browser. It's been bookmarked for me. Uh -huh. The computer bookmark the website that I've been going a lot. So when you go to uark.edu, when you scroll down, down, you will see that you see Blackboard Learn. This will take you to your Blackboard email. It will take you to your Outlook email, your student Outlook email. Um, UA Connect, where you uh, you register for your classes, check financial aid, your profile, and everything. And then the rest, academic, I don't want to talk about the rest. So this is Blackboard. And then this will come up, University of Arkansas then log in it will log it is doing this because um i've already i've already set up my email when you set up your email i'm going to go there again when you set up your email with uh, which you are going to receive inside your your email your personal email the school will send you all your login details activation how you activate your email and everything so once you activate your email and are able to log in you are able to go to ua connect and make sure your profile is correct information about you everything is correct financial aid you've uploaded all documents that the financial aid needs so i'm going to click on email and then it takes me to outlook.office.com and this is uh, this is how my email looks like all right so if i want to I'm going back here to the university website and scroll down. This is UA Connect. Then you click on My Connect. You click on My Connect. Your local address. Okay. It usually doesn't do this. Next. Okay, so this is the feature you are supposed to see. And then if there's any pending document that you need to upload, uh, it's going to be here. If the financial aid office wants you to upload something, it's going to be here when you click on it to do. If, if there's any tax for you, it's going to be here. Then you follow the instructions that you do. It. If there's any hold on your account, it's going to be here. Student homepage, degree audit. This is where you will see all the uh, credit that has been accepted by the school what you've completed what is unmet will be the that sign here the red sign incomplete enrolled so this is university requirement this is the nursing lpn requirement so i'm going to run the report here and you click on run the report 
I have, I transferred in 52 credits. They accepted 52 credits, including the uh, straighterline.com credits, which I had to appeal. It has the ACE credit, so I had to appeal and it's been approved. So you can see all my transfer credits in here. All my transfer credits. Approved exception for microbiology. All these have been approved. And it, it shows the ones that I'm doing right now. It shows the ones that I'm doing right now. So I'm doing 311-4003 for the spring. For the spring, I'm doing five classes. And it shows all the credit hours that is for all these classes. So you can note all these credit hours down so that when you are registering your classes, you know which one pairs with what. And your advisor is going to help you out anyways. Your advisor is there to help you know which classes you can combine and which you shouldn't combine because you may fail because it's hard to combine those two classes. Yes. As you can see. All right. So these are, these are it. These are all the classes that that is there under the all right so this is for the ua connect and manage classes manage classes is where you register for classes manage classes this is where you register for classes and i believe the day to uh add excuse me the day to add classes is past i would have added classes and showed you how it works. It's very simple. You come to enroll. You come to enroll. And you go to add. This one was here because it needed 311 always need to be approved by the head uh, department of nursing because you have to meet all the criteria for clinicals. You have to meet all the, the, the there is another website called E ezat.com ezat.com um i think it's on blackboard so i'll go for it later anyway so you go, you click on add and then you enter the class you you enter the class number n u r s 3 one one and then you add them as yeah they will not let me add because the time to add is past if not i would have demonstrated but it's very very easy to do and i think there's a there's a youtube video for it how to do it. it's very simple anyways back to back to it and then your profile your profile is where all your Make sure your name is spelled right. Make sure your contact details, your emergency, everything is uh, all right over there. That's UA Connect for you. That's the email. And this is Blackboard. On your Blackboard, you will see all this. And then courses. Courses is where they load all your course. So the courses that I'm registered for will show up here on under courses yes and the online bsn orientation this is super important this is the first one you're going to tackle if you read you go to start here you you start from yes it says start here you make sure you read everything here don't skip anything everything here this will make your life very easy my grades under each course when you click on my grades, you will see whatever um, uh, for that week, whatever is going to be due. You will see whether you've submitted or you've not submitted. This is how to check that you don't uh, get into the past due uh, zone. Use your my grade to see where you are missing, what you have not submitted, so that you can submit and get your points. If not, if it's past due, they want to deduct 10 points or so. 
from it if you are past due and you don't send any email to your instructor on time for reconsideration yes all right so you have to make sure you go through you you when you click here when you click there are links some of them are links that you have to click on it read everything under it read everything under it the requirement for your computer you see you see how they write minimum of two gigahertz processor and that's what i already said and make sure you have a, a hard disk space of 10 gigabyte i bought 10 terabyte of hard disk space this is an external drive it's an external drive let me pull it out here and show you if i can show you here I bought a external hard drive, WD external hard drive, one terabyte for school. This is sacrifice. You have to sacrifice to get what you, to, you know, be able to graduate successfully. It's going to help you. All right. So from the start here, you can go to resources. And under resources, you see academic resource. You have to click on it. Click on all the links. And read everything in, in its entirety. APA style is what they use for every uh, thing that you need to write. And there is a, a quiz, orientation quiz, to make sure that you understood everything that you read in the orientation. Make sure you read through everything. When you read through, you the quiz, you can do it over and over till you get 100%. Uh, Yes, so back to resource. And then you go to Blackboard tutorial. It teaches you the tutorial book list. So as you see this, it means you can download it. That's what I showed you on the word processor. I showed you here. I downloaded it and that's what I showed you. So make sure you are downloading all the PDFs and the docs, Word doc, and then you are able to go through and make sure you have everything that is needed how to schedule an appointment in ua connect to talk to your advisor is there they show you step by step they have laid pdfs and everything how to be successful and not get frustrated if you don't read the document then you'll be very frustrated you'll be very frustrated so you don't want that to happen you do not want that to happen read everything this is your uh, semester plan this is your semester plan and your degree worksheet let me see if i can open it here the semester plan and degree worksheet whether you want to do part-time or full-time is up to you how you want that to go so you can use that and say and talk to your um advisor how you want to register for the classes I'm trying to open the semester plan. I'm I'm going with the spring. They've they've arranged it in this manner, but it's up to you how you want it to go. The four six semester, the four seven semester, four semester semester with prerequisites. Spring, yes. So my own is the spring. I'm using the spring. So as you can see, four classes in the spring, but I, I have five classes for the spring and three classes in the summer. Four, one, two, three, four. It's only in the fall that you can have the longer uh, clinicals. In the summer, you can have the shorter clinicals. But I, I heard that, I, I got understanding that depending on you, you, in the fall and the spring, where you can have longer uh, clinicals, you can have the 112, 112, and another 75 with it. So it depends on how you arrange your courses. So you can talk to your uh, advisor about it. You can talk to the advisor about it. All right. And this is this is the degree worksheet. It has all the nursing courses. 
it has all the uh, the main courses and how you want it to go for you i was trying to get it to open here um all right let's move on oh they've even listed it right here see they've listed everything right here for you if you study it right here for you so you see which of the classes and the clinicals that comes with it the classes with the clinic is right here it's very important to do the online uh, orientation the onboarding class yeah and the softwares that you need this is very important that you click on it the free software which is your microsoft office Office can be found inside your email to make sure that you download the office. Um, let me let me go there and show you real quick office. When you go to Outlook, and then you click on this uh, dot dot here, App Launcher. When you click on it, you click on Office three six five, and then under under it when you see something like this click see you see this one you left click on it and then you click on other install options don't click on this one this is business this is not what the school is offering the second one is what the school is offering click on it and when you click on then you click on install office under this office apps and devices it says you can install Office on up to five PCs or Max, five tablets and five smartphones. So click on this and it's going to start installation and make sure that you double click on the executive file, the e.exe .e file to um, launch the applications. So you have Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, everything at your disposal for your documents. Uh, for your classes and everything that you need to open okay all right i hope this helps i really hope this helps somebody all right you have to um download katura kaltura kaltura this is the first time i'm hearing of it um when you click on this you can let me bring this down here see as you look at my um Tax my computer to uh tax bar here. You can see this. This is Katura, Katura Capture. So when when I click on it, it's going to launch, and I'm able to use it for recording. Now our clinical instructors want us to do some home skills, demonstrate some skills, vital signs, health history with a family member who is 18 years and above and they have to sign up sign a, a written video permission consent consent that you upload to your teacher so that's katura capture uploading itself there you go and then you can record your screen when you are using a powerpoint to explain something to the teacher or you can just use your camera. So screen will record your screen. If you don't want your screen and you want just your camera, you can use your camera and make sure you check the camera for your computer or external camera that you are using and make sure for the audio, the audio is not under stereo. If it's under stereo, your voice will not be recorded, but make sure you click microphone array. It will record from your computer or any external micro um, microphone that you are using. Make sure you check that name of that microphone. If not, it will not happen. Then you click on record. When you are done, you, you click on save and upload. It save it on cloud. So when you go to your discussion board where you are supposed to, uh, upload it then you choose the upload option and then you upload it yes so make sure you download the uh, katsura download and install katsura on your laptop or desktop for come back to resource 
I've spoken about the book list where you have to, uh, okay, proctoring, proctoring resources. Make sure you download Respondus. Respondus is going to be used for um, uh, some of the exams. And it's going to record, is, is, your camera will be on and you are going to be doing your respond. Respondus is, a, is an independent browser. It closes all other browsers so you cannot go online and research, search for your answers and come and, stay and cheat on your exams. Lockdown Respondus, that's the job that it does. Yes. And Proctor, you actually have a live uh, proctoring person who is kind of looking on your screen and making sure that you're not going to another browser to cheat. Yes, so uh, U of A uses Proctor U for some of their exams. So you have to uh, download Respondus. And Respondus doesn't work on some laptops, so make sure it's working on your laptop yeah, before. If not, you have to get another laptop, trust me. You have to get another laptop. All right, that was my baby making noise. Yes. So you can watch the video and see how it works and everything. And then you can go to proctoryou.com, create an account there. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. So they have step-by-step -step, um, link how you can follow through and you can have you can chat via online chat box for someone to actually assist you with the authentication. You need your account authenticated by ProctorU, and then you pay, I think, $10 or so to um, the university to get your student badge. You need your student badge, your lab coat, your scraps, your red scraps to do your home skills videos for your teacher. If not, you won't get the full points that you need. So make sure you order your, your uniforms on time. Your uniforms on time. Yes. So that's the proctoring services. Program progression guideline, okay. Web-based, okay. Web-based resources. Uh, this one is free website where you can go and study for NCLEX and so on. And this one too. And these are all free resources they give to us. And this is your ATI student login. You create an account if you don't have one. I had an account already. I'll go there and demonstrate something, ATITesting.com. And I log in. It will ask whether you're a student, nurse, or you are a teacher or something i already chose i'm a student nurse so okay all right so it shows recent activity what i've been doing these are the pre skills tests that pre test on some of the modules you go to my ati This orientation module, you can do it at your leisure time. But every module has to be completed. Dosage calculation has mod nine modules. You have to complete everything. We have to complete this nine, four. We have to complete 13, 13 of this. These books are the, uh, the test books that we are, I was advising you to order. You can read it here. If you are good with reading ebooks, you can read it from ATI. When you go to ebooks, you can um, just look for um, fundamentals for nursing. This is for the, uh, I think, health assessment. You can read from here. I'm, I'm really bad with reading from online. So, so the other uh, skill stuff, when you go to apply, my ATI and then apply. All right. So we have to do this skills module 2.0. 30, 30 activity. So if you are not doing two a day, imagine. If you are not doing two a day, you are going to be far behind. 
health assessment. We have to we have 17 to do. So this is needed for the um this skills module is for the health assessment course. This is also for the health assessment course. So imagine if you are not doing it. You'll be behind. You'll be behind. And they want you uploading your test score. Like I'll go into health assessment. I've completed. When you are completed, it says 100%. Make sure you are spending 1 to 1.5 hours there. You can't just go there for 30 minutes and say you are done. There are other things I need to do virtual practices but i've done i've done up to the this week i'm going to do the skin head neck and respiratory but for the first week we completed intro introduction intro to health assessment general survey health history i've done all that so if you want to uh, print out and send the the results to the blackboard you have to click on results download report and it's going to download to your folder and then you go to your blackboard you go to um whatever that um course is health assessment and you go and upload it you go to lesson you go to the first week lesson one and wherever it's asking you to upload it see it says general survey module you click on it and I've already sent my report. See, the teacher has already graded it, gave me five out of five. So if you are not doing it, all these five, five points, it adds up to get the full percentage. It's, I think it's about 75% of our, our thing. If you don't do, you are going to fail. You are setting yourself for failure. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that is that. So back to the orientation board. I come here, you go to lessons, you read everything here, everything, the student handbook, the program policies, effective communication, but this is the most super important, <laughs> they are all important anyways, clinical practicum, clinical practicum, make sure you are talking to the clinical coordinator for the school about anything, set up your profile in exact. So for ESAT, there's a link to ESAT. Let me see if I can find that link. ESAT is where you are going to upload your TB skin test proof, your MMR, MAMS, rubella, and all the other. Let me, let me see if I can find the ESAT link. So this is a quiz that you have to do to make sure you understood everything that you read from here. It's no grading quiz, but they want to make sure you understood everything. It's no graded. Scheduling and documenting clinical hours. They've showed everything, how you, you uh, they have a PowerPoint where they show you how you go to ESAT and upload your clinical hours practicum. So pay attention to this part here. I'm going to show you. Um. You have to set up your exact profile, compliance deadline. Watch this video very well. LPNBS and compliance resource. Make sure you follow, you read through all the PowerPoint and you follow, do your drag screen, your background check. You have to pay for it. It's, it costs money. I've forgotten how much it costs. I think one is 40. In, Forty-six dollar and one is fifty-nine or so. Alice, you have to do all these TB skin tests, MMR vaccination, very cellular, Tdap, flu vaccine, hepatitis B titer, your CPL certification, health insurance card, background check, and all this. These are all crucial for you. So, I believe this should help. So, when you, when I'm back to the courses, you click on any of the courses here. And then you go into your, make sure you are reading, start here, your instructor for class schedule, syllabus, your test book, your lessons. Go week by week, follow, do your quizzes, and you're going to be successful. I hope you enjoy this video. 
best of luck to everybody. I love you guys.